so hi everyone today in this tutorial we will learn how you can create your first application using open ai swarm so if you don't know open ai has recently released a framework swarm which is for creating multi agent orchestration applications so which is very similar to autogen or lang graph or cree ai if you have used earlier for multi agent orchestration but a lot easier so let's get started so first of all you need to pip install this particular git url git plus https open a swarm dot git once you are done the creating a first basic application is very very easy because the entire idea of the framework is based on two concepts one is creating an agent uh, that is in generative ai an agent can be taken as an llm which has been provided access to third party tools it can be an api it can be a database so an agent can interact with databases can interact with apis alongside the llm part so it can be taken as an upgraded version of an llm and the second is handoffs so handoffs are basically how one agent gives control to another agent so this is the core of any multi uh, ai agent system where how you should switch from one agent to other is very very important so that they have made very very easy because this was a major issue when i was exploring autogen or bit cree ai or bit lang graph there was confusion when to switch between to agent that the llm was getting confused but i think in their case the introduction of handoff functions looks very very easy and this should go long way so you need to first of all import swarm agent then you need to set up your open ai api key unfortunately this particular framework works just with open ai api key so you need to have that if you don't have it i think you should wait for some time because they might be releasing the support for local llms very soon once done you need to create a swarm object and then you need to create uh, your agents so basically in this case we are creating two agents one is a english speaking agent other is a hindi speaking agent so creating an agent is very very easy name and instruction instructions are very very important because an llm chooses an agent based on the instructions given so if your instructions are not right at times it might not be able to pick the agent so your instruction should be very crisp and clear so here we have created two agents english and hindi now this is the most important part that is the handoff function that we have written as transfer to hindi agent this particular doc string for this function is also very crucial because this would be used while transferring the control from one agent to another so here we have created a function that transfer the control to hindi agent and now we are passing this particular agent uh, this particular function to the english agent so in all if you understand we have created two functions two agents english and hindi then we have created a handoff function that will hand off the access from agent 1 to agent 2 and then we have added this function to english agent so basically english agent has now the power to transfer the access from itself to hindi agent but not vice versa so the hindi agent can't transfer back to english do remember this here you can see that this is how you are appending the handoff function this is the handoff function and then if you have used a chat completion tool in lang in this looks very similar you need to provide the role and your prompt in the content so i am passing it a hindi prompt bharat ke swatantrata sangram mein mahatma gandhi ki bhumika kya thi once we are passing this we are running the client dot run and we are passing just one agent the english agent because we are providing the handoff functionality just to the english agent and messages equals to messages and then once we print the response internally the english agent must have transferred the access to the hindi agent and we have got an answer in hindi because in the first case we have written you speak only in english like similarly we can add uh, one more function say transfer to say sanskrit transfer to sanskrit agent and transfer sanskrit speaking users immediately this will become our sanskrit agent and then you need to create a sanskrit agent also which would be very similar so it's not like that you can create just two agents you can create multiple agents add the transfer functionality to the central agent which is english here we you can create a triad uh, agent also that we will be discussing soon and similarly if you wish to add another agent you need to just copy paste this and change sanskrit agent so here you can see that now the english agent can be trans can transfer the call from 
uh, English to Hindi and English to Sanskrit also. So if the content goes Sanskrit, it can choose between Hindi and Sanskrit as well. So multiple agents are now can be added to the central agent and eventually your task can get completed. So this is a very basic app that we can create from Swarm. There are a lot more complicated applications that we will be covering soon in the upcoming videos. Thank you so much.